I'm sorry. I think I owe an apology to all my brothers out there, my hustlers, my dope boys, my niggas. Because some time ago, I thought about making a video, basically a PSA, a public service announcement. And the context of it was going to be that you have to stop making these videos with you and your drug money and your drug cars and all that in the videos. Stop flaunting, talking about how you get it done. In the words, in the famous words of Felonious, Felonious Monk, stop it, B. You're hurting yourself. You are giving the DEA, the FBI, your local law enforcement the evidence they need to get you, or at least to look into you. Because if I was in charge of one of these agencies, and I see you in this video, I'm wondering where that money came from. I know where you're saying it came from. And so I have an assumption of where you where it's coming from. You could be lying. You could be telling truth. But I'm going to assume you're telling the truth. So you give me a reason to look into it. I have you on video. I have your boys on video. I have your cars on video. I at least have those where I can look into where you got this car from. Some of these cars look pretty expensive, especially when you're tricking them out adding the rims and all that good stuff where are you getting the money from to pay for these these items that's something to look into if you don't have the income being generated from a legal job to show that you will be able to pay for the amount of value that's put into a car if you don't have the tax returns to back that up you're making a case against you like i said if it was me i would i would have this i would start making the case once again i would take all all these cars, and look into the owners, look into the value, look into the money I saw, look into the, the guns I saw, even the drugs sometimes. You're making a case, all right? You're flaunting, and who are you flaunting for? Other niggas? For what? You know, those in the game know there are plenty of others in the game, and those, and that somebody's getting money. Everybody is in the game, though. Somebody's getting money, and somebody's not getting money. You're getting money for a, a short period of time. There is no, no retirement plan on it, but you know you're getting money. So who are you flying for? You're flying for those who aren't in the game? Well, for those who are in the game, what do they really care? Are they going to really care? They might hate on you. Or what do you know? They think they're going to big up you? They're going to look up to you? They're going to entice them to get into the game? Maybe some young ones. That's how it generally happens. You know, the young ones are looking at those there on the block. They're looking up to them. They're looking at things they got. It's enticing them. They don't see many more avenues. They look at the state of the world, the economy in the neighborhood, so I might as well get money this way. So if it's for a recruiting tool, I can see that. But really, you're recruiting the feds. You're recruiting the law enforcement to look into you. And what made me decide to go ahead and make this, because I saw it here on a, on a World Star Hip Hop, and hopefully I'll put this up on World Star Hip Hop, about... Uh, uh, some some drug dealer got sentenced to 23 years in federal prison. Why? Because he was in a video. And I remember this video. I saw this video some years ago. They're out there flooding all the money they got. And you made a case against them. That's what all you're doing. Stop it. If you don't have, if the money you're showing isn't legitimate money, if the car that you're showing isn't wasn't paid for with legitimate money, if you don't have the receipts, if you don't have the income statements, if you don't have the pay stubs, the tax return to show that you generated enough money to buy those things, to show off that stack, that rack, racks on racks on racks, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. 